on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. a good nap. Alright, <clears throat> time to go on home. Uh, wait, what? Where the fuck am I? I, um, oh, wait, this is, um, I think I know what this is, um, uh, a new amusement park, or, no, 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 it's some of these kid, the kids have been watching now, it's anime trope thing. Uh, he's a guy, we know, Eki, uh, Echi, no, uh, Isekai, yeah, yeah, that's, I think, wait, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where, uh, yeah, I think it's where uh, you get sent to another world where things are different. Wait, does that mean I get new powers? Hmm. Let's see, am I super strong? Him punching a tree, he's like... He's like yeah, it tumbles down, but he's like... Oh, anyone could do that! Um, guy making an earthquake, wait, no, Ogre can do that. Um, can I run on water? Wait, no, you already did that. Um, uh, huh. What the hell am I doing here? Is he just walks around seeing that, yeah, pretty much everything is so much different. There are people in spandex and shit. He's just watching the hero versus villain fights. He's like, what kind of world do I find myself in? <sighs> Seriously, I was, I was somebody in my world, but this one, people got powers and shit. I, I just got my natural skills as well as what I was already able to do. I don't even have my weapons. What the hell? Whoever sent me here must have made one hell of a mistake. Asshole. And then he does come across Izuku getting bullied. A four year old Izuku trying to take up for this kid. He's like, a responsible adult would stop this. But considering I actually do want to see what kind of powers these youngsters have, why not? Him seeing the other kids use their quirks, the one Izuku. Was trying to protect, runs off like a bitch, and uh, he's just he's like, "All right, kid, let's see what your powers are." As he watches Izuku get beat up to high hell. Wait, so not everyone has powers? As soon as Bago and his little friends just leave, Izuku he's crying, and this is when he does see Matobe. He's, like, "Who are you?" Mm. Uh, I'm the one watching you get your ass kicked. Oh, why don't you use your power? You mean a quirk? Sure. Uh, I don't have one. About 20% of the population don't have it. Really? So you're a regular person. Yeah. Huh, but why did you protect that kid who just ran off and left you hanging? Because I want to help. I, I want to be a hero when I grow up. Huh. That's, that's a good dream, kid. But, you know. You, huh? Huh. So, you want to be a hero? Yep. 
without the fancy schmancy superpowers. Um, yeah. Kid, I don't know what to tell you except you are going to be, you're going to leave lead a life of pure, utter disappointment. Well, there are other heroes who don't really use quirks. Like who? As he just explains, the racer head, Mirko, who, yes, though she has a bunny quirk, she, d all she really does is pretty much beat the shit out of whoever she feels it pretty much necessary. Him going on and on about how different quirks can be, how useful one like this or that could be. Somebody's like, wow, you are, uh, you are very smart. Well, since I learned I didn't have a quirk, I decided to... Don't tell me. What? Oh, you're you're hoping that you're just a late bloomer. You, you, you just want... You're just clinging to hope that you get a quirk one day. Uh... Um... Uh... uh well, I'm also studying and working on my analytical skills as tactical minds. That's all well and good, but if you want to be a hero... Right now, I see you more as a detective. Maybe. Or... <sighs> investigator or something like that. Maybe a policeman, maybe. Who knows, maybe a doctor if you uh, study enough. But a hero, I... Sorry, kid, I'm not really seeing it. Unless you actually train yourself. What do you mean? Oh, let's see. Ah, I saw this one fight. With this uh, guy. Uh, they called him All Bite. I mean, uh, no, no. Uh, Fall Guy. No. You mean All Might? That's his name. That's the kid's name. C kid. Ah. Uh. He's definitely younger than me, <clears throat> but let's not talk about my age right now. You think it was easy for him to really become a hero? Well, yes, he's super strong. Yes, and the pair... Can he punch down that tree? Uh, yes. As I'm told, he just punches it. He just one-shots it. It goes down like timber and everything. It's Sure, Quirk. A Quirk didn't do this, kid. I trained for this. Do you think I can? If you train hard enough? Hmm. Yes. Me, I pretty much grew into it somewhat. I. Where I'm from, I'm not even the strongest. Where I'm from, there are no quirks. As he does start explaining the world he came across, pretty much how residue, pretty much, yes, ran on water. The fact that literally ogre, at least king, Yujiro, stopped an earthquake, caused an earthquake, that he and two other people are so dangerous that whenever they they move, it can fuck up the whole GPS, circulatory, whatever system. There is someone named Biscuit Oliver who has so much muscle. If he flexes, he just rips off his clothes and these he just stand there like he just shedded his skin or an exoskeleton. You see, you're hearing this, hearing these about these amazing feats of strength, speed, technique, all of this. It does nothing but pique his interest and in wondering: Is the, can I really? Do you really think someone like me could be that strong? As strong as ogre. <laughs> no, 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 no. The only ones that could really be as strong as him is possibly his descendants. 
others uh, below him only hope, or at least try our best to at least beat him. Uh, he even took on the U.S. Army. It was terrifying. So many corpses. So... Uh, is he a villain? Not in particularly. He's not. Technically, he's not. But you know, he kind of is. Is he just doesn't care? That's his thing. He he just does whatever he wants, and no one can stop him. Except someone who can possibly beat him. So. Wow. So, but you're you're strong too, right? Well, I'm above regular human, uh, you know, limitations. I can at least say that. As he sees the glimmer of hope and the sim and rolliness that is Izuku, the pure. This, uh, he's, d d d don't tell me, you, you still want to be a hero, yes, and hey, you want me to train you, will you please, no, please, no, as Izuku is hella persistent, until Tobe just fine, ugh, <sighs> Start doing push-ups, sit-ups, all that, okay? We need to build up your body strength and whatnot. R really? Yes. You, you won't. You, I, you have proven that you won't leave me alone until I agree. So, fine. I'll train you. But like I said, start exercising. Otherwise, it'll be pretty much useless teaching you anything that I know. Let's say months go by. Since Izuku is so young, he can't do much, but his body adapts to it a lot faster than someone of a more advanced age. So he, he packs on some more lean muscle if nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's serviceable. Really? Him just congratulating himself so proud of his hard work. Alright. Here. Just tosses him. A, like, what's this stick for? We're going to sword fight. What? I don't know. That's why I'm teaching you. I, th I thought you were going to teach me. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. As yeah, Izuku's weapon just snaps as soon as Matoe hits it. It's like how did? You... Hmm. Oh, looks like I actually got a good one. You see, I don't just use martial arts, I use weapons as well. From shurikens, chain and sickle, katanas, yada yada yada. I, I will use tools. So we call those here support items. Well, if you want to be a hero, you're going to need them. Especially since you don't have a quirk. But at the very least, this does mean you can be a hero under my brilliant, this, uh, brilliant guidance. Okay. So, we're going to continue this. I'm going to train you the best I can, but you are going to have to be determined enough. As well as having no, if anything... Don't be a quitter. Don't give up so easily, or else this is just going to be a huge waste of time. Uh, uh okay. 
Seriously, I really hope you you have determination, if nothing else. As years go by, and Izuku is now 10 years old, no one really fucks with Izuku. Because, hell, he, he doesn't really talk much anymore. He doesn't really talk about being a hero or anything. So people thought, okay, so maybe he just gave up or whatnot. Bakugo, he... He does try to bully Izuku, but Izuku just walks off. He just does not care anymore. If anything, he's just like... Uh, is he? It's bad manners to brag about your strength. If you keep on bragging, people are going to want to challenge you. And uh, that's not a good thing. Be like a tiger in solitude rather than a lion. You sh you don't have to boast about your strength. You show them what you can do. So yeah, whenever you do physical tests or anything, Izuku just breezes by. He makes it so he's just slightly above average. Not, not so much that they like, wait, does he have a quirk? But just so much like, okay, so he's not a complete weakling. But now is a little test of Matobe's, which is like, alright, get in there. What? Good. Why? Hmm, trust me. As in, uh, Master Matobe, what was that? As a big old court cat, or at least something hungry, shows itself to Izuku. Him freaking out, and he's like, wait, what, what are you doing? This is a test. You're gonna have to kill it yourself. But can't you do it? I'm the one that knocked it out. How do you think it got in the cage? As it towers over Izuku, it's twice as big as Matobe. So Izuku is pretty much like, what the hell? Which makes things worse when you consider it armors up. Not steel, but concrete. At least stone. It as skin armor. So Izuku is trying his best to break through it. As soon as he sees that he actually made a dent or at least cracks in it, he focuses on those points. Just until he breaks straight through and tears straight into the meat. It you can see the pride the accomplishment in Izuku's face when he's I did it good him just handing Izuku a knife say like, what's this for I'm hungry start butchering I don't know how well good thing I gave you a knife now it's time for you to learn You're serious? As yeah, his stone just growls. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Get to cooking. <sighs> Man, why, why I gotta do it? Well, you went through the trouble of killing it, but you're the one that caught it. Yes, and I. I am so tired after doing that, so yeah. I'm too weak. I'm too old. Suku just looking back at him is like, you asshole. Language boy. I'm, I'm your old master. Don't say it like that. Huh? Oh. Fuck you. That, saying that just makes it worse. Little cocky brat. 
Izuku just pointing the knife at him. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think I learned that from? Them just laughing it off as Matoe just like, fuck it, I'll teach you how to butcher an animal. Them, yeah, they have a good bond. And I believe that's where I should lead this part off. I really just wanted to set the groundwork of what happens. I'll pretty much try and make my part ones, technically part zeros as well. At least get the base information out. And with anything, that will be the end of that.